Despite Tabata saying there are currently no plans for a Final Fantasy XV-2, it doesn't mean that it's out of the question. With even an unpopular Final Fantasy like XIII getting a sequel because of cost efficiency, it begs the question of if Final Fantasy XV would get a sequel, what would it be like? After all, they did spend 10 years of the development costs on Final Fantasy XV, including the cost of the Luminous Studio engine. Now I know what you're thinking, how the hell would they do a Final Fantasy XV-2? After all, many of the primary characters died in the first and it wouldn't make much sense to do a direct sequel unless we got a whole game of Iris the Demon Slayer, which might not be half bad. No, what I would propose would be a Final Fantasy XV-0, an entire game on the backstory of Arden Lucius Kylum. This would be great for a number of reasons. Most Final Fantasy fans weren't entirely satisfied with XV's story considering there were a number of details and cutscenes that didn't make it into the main game. One of those things being the lore, such as the goddess Eos, or why Ifrit doesn't like humans, weren't fully explained or explored at all. This would also be a perfect way to give fans more of the details without having to create endless DLC patches fixes which may not even answer all the deeper lore questions fans still yearn about. Arden was one of the most interesting Final Fantasy villains we've seen in a long while. I'm talking about this guy has more layers than an ogre, a man who is the King of Light, the only other King of Light other than Noctis that we know about, a great healer who was ostracized from his people. This story could tell a much darker, deeper plot that we wanted since Versus 13. Imagine playing as a young Arden who starts out with such a promising future as the King of Light, who will be able to cure the Star Scourge and then slowly everything is ripped from him. It could be a truly interesting and dark story with many of the themes that we had seen previously. Imagine Arden has a brotherhood like Noctis, and after finding out that Arden is deemed too impure to be the King of Light from absorbing demons, his brotherhood turns on him and abandons him. In fact, when Arden told Noctis about Prompto being an MT, he was trying to test if Noctis would ostracize his friend the same way he was. There's so much room for deep meaning here. Imagine that Arden is set to marry a woman before being anointed as the King of Lucius and she turns against him after finding out he is no longer worthy of the crystal's light. This would give an incredible deal of context as to why he would kill Lunafreya, seeing her as the image of the woman who betrayed him. Many of the summon fights that didn't make it into the original could also find their way into this one. I for one think fighting Rama or Buhamu would prove incredibly interesting. There are so many things that could be done with this story and the possibilities are pretty much endless. Tell me, what do you guys think? Would you like to see a Final Fantasy XV-2 or a prequel, Final Fantasy XV-0? Subscribe and let everyone know in the comments below what you would like to see in a Final Fantasy XV continuation.